Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. King. We have a great show lined up for you. Our guest tonight is one of the most successful comedians in this country. However, he tried to be a Kode son in law and failed. <laughs> Terribly. He's an official representative of street children in Kenya. MC Trick is in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Asante Sana. Before we get to that part of the show, if there is one governor who has been bashed with claims of how unqualified he is to hold the job, it's Governor Sonko. Uh, well, he always has his ways of proving the haters wrong. This week he has lit the internet. He lit the internet with this video of him rapping. <laughs> Well, ah, that answers all the haters. What more evidence do you need to prove that Sonko can perform? <laughs> like in my hater and my hater too, I had someone turned this into a tribal stereotype. Yeah, una, unajua siku anajua governor ni mukaba. Baga kijana yagu wakaniabia wali muona akiroga. <laughs> now, uh, see, as much as I, uh, I celebrate uh, the governor's musical talent, you do realize that this could mean that other than the rain, Part of the reason traffic was very bad this week was because the governor had also released a new jam. And, <laughs> and come to think of it, Governor Sonko has all the characteristics of a successful Kenyan rapper. He has a part-time accent. President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyara, Nairobi. <laughs> Akona yu accent. Uh, anaweza kuwa hana tatu, lakini akona matatu. <laughs> he can make it rain. And other than the random freestyles, he has made a name for himself as a recording artist. This actually came up on the episode we featured in Nyambane. Mi ninge kwa Sonko na ITV ya na watch I'm sure na anaturecord. Governor Sonko, you record kila kitu. And actually still on politics, uh, senior counsel James Orengo was on this, or was the center. <laughs> he was the center of a bat of online jokes over how his coat was buttoned in this picture. Now, this, however, did not go too far because this is not the first time Kenyans are seeing a politician in public pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> this could be interpreted wrongly that uh, the senior counsel does not respect the court. However, in other news, uh, one of the benefits from President Uhuru's trip to China is a deal whereby the Chinese government will be importing 40% of Kenya's avocado produce. The plan is the avocados will be collected from all parts of the country, then the government will make arrangements of how they will be taken to Thika Road. <laughs> yes. If you think the Chinese along Thika Road are not enough to consume 40% of all of the avocados in Kenya, they are bringing reinforcement. Kuna mabarabara zingine bado wazijamaliza kujengwa. On a serious note though, that's a good deal uh, for farmers. It's a good deal for farmers, a very good deal. As long as wa Chinese wakisha peleke wa avocado, farmers wakingoja pesa wata sikia inakatu wa kwa hile deni yao tukonayo. <laughs> But then again, how, how long can we sustain the deal before Chinese or Chinese wajitengeneze avocado zao? <laughs> Labda wanataka two sample before wanze kutulete ya made in China. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> Yo avocado. Hii <laughs> avocado iko na chipukizi ndani. <laughs> now, alafu, uh, is it avocado ama avocado? Because kama ni avocado, Tukona over mingi sana tunaweza export, over representation, over tax, <laughs> na over 2.5 vile watu wa betting. I can't wait for the avocado scandals. Na wapa serikali ikirie kati. Mutu tegeneze sheria, mutu wakiguza avocado lazima anunue. <laughs> Wataina wamefinya finya avocado wakaturudishia. Sasa wakiturudishia wanataka tuzipereke wapi. Tusiraid nazo kwa DM. <laughs> that said, uh, Bobby Wine was violently arrested again by the Ugandan authorities and the hashtag free Bobby Wine was trending for even uh, for a better part of this week. What was that all about? Our reporter Kinyanjui followed up on the story and filed the following report. Kenyans and Ugandans have joined hands to advocate for the release of Uganda's Bobby Wine following his dramatic arrest over Easter. Police had initially launched a manhunt for the musician Nawali Mutafuta Kira Mahali. In fact, Jamahuyu Alidazimishu Atoe Mifuko, police waone kama Bobby Wine Akodani. It was an intensive exercise and on one instance the police officers were seen watering protesters. Duruza Geswak Zimetwari Fukua, the police thought that by doing that, the protesters would grow up. 
This angered people even more because after seeing this, how they guarantee people that they were going to store Bobby Wine in a cool, dry place? To make matters worse, some police officers were seen forcing people to dance before taking them to custody. Officers have since denied these allegations, saying that no one was forced to do anything. It's just not an easy thing to dance the national anthem. But still, police wako na kesi ya kujibu baada ya mama huyu kujitokeza na kusema, serikali imemuagusha. Regardless of how much bashing the Ugandan authorities have received on how they handled this matter, guess what gives credit where it is due? This event goes a long way in portraying Uganda as a very safe country going by their police to civilian ratio, which as you can see, is at 7,241 police officers at the service of one individual. This whole event also appeared to be very organized and word is that it was inspired by the concept of a puchari. Why, you may ask. Simple. A unit of police officers dressed in all white and a branch of protesters fully dressed in the color of meat. This theory has however been denied with claims that this was not a protester but the Ugandan Valentine's Day Brad Ambassador. This is still a developing story and for more updates, Gear Twitter. Representing the Guesswork Fraternity on the Wicked Edition, Guess Who? King! Well, uh, like I mentioned earlier, our guest tonight is one of your favorite comedians in Kenya. We have so much to talk about. Now, let us extend the fun to the second part of the show. MC Tricky joins us on the other end of this break. See you guys in a bit. Chicken flavor, beef flavor, uta penda. Nira hisi kutaya risha ai. Kwada kika tatu tu. Mmm, tamu sana. Hindo mi, furahi ya na jami yako. Hindo mi, oko wada kika masai. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. I promised you we have an exciting show for you tonight. Our guest is one of your favorite comedians. MC a Tricky, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Kadam. Karibu sana kwa show. Mambo? Asante, bro. Pua sana. Before to fike kwa maswali zenye na juwasewa kwa nazo na zenye wasewe tu audience wa meuliza, nda uliza too straight. Nda kumeshika hivo juwe uliku unaputa glue kitambo. Kushika, sasa siju ni najibu swali gani, umeuza mbili sa hii, wacha ni hazina ya kwanza. Wase wala sema nilikuwa chokosh, so ni kuje ni kishike hivo, ndiyo... Hazi numeshika hivo juu ya kufuta glu. Juu ya kufuta gamu. Gamu, gamu siju kama nisha hivuta, lakini nisha hivuta vitu zingini. Na watu sema tu kweli, isho yako ina polisi, yata nikasema nini? Umevuta vitu kama ni? Umevuta, of course, siyezi danganya. Nishei vuta sigara, nishei vuta... Kwa TV na juwara ni kitamuka mutaeka tii, so wacha niweke hapa. Nishei vuta tii. Mwana ni tamuka na najua watatoa. Aya, aya. Sawa, na? But gam, eh? Gam ni noma. Gam ni tricky. Nishe hivuta lakini hikuwa kupenda kwangu, yaani nili, ukikaribia na naya lazima hika mdhrutu. Siku vuta in fact ni venya arufu, ilifikia mapuwa zangu. One of your latest stories zenye zinakamu kwako ni, uliko unataka kuget, kukua, akothea kue mother in law wako. Ti uliko me request, unataka mutoi wake. Mutoi. First of all, uneza clarify your story before. Ru baby. Oh, kumbi hata unajua ni mgani. Ha 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 ni venye nilifanya blanda, nika chat na ye kwa comments, kumbe zinaoneka na gana kila mtu. Mulu kwa mna chat nini kwa comments? Hizo tu, hizo, hee, hee, hee. Sasa hizo ni gani? Nani chat hizo kwa comments? Hee, ukiambiwa hee, unajibu haa. Kumbe majamawa meteka microphone, wale wase wakukimiza uko putandao. 
Alafu eh, nikajipata huko ra. Uh -huh. Eh. Badi ilibidi akothea ni Simon kwa ke huko Kisumu. Alikuita. Alini Simon vibaa sana. Lakini hapo ndiye amekuleta karibu na mtego. Aku ame aku ni Simon kwa ubaya. Bidi ku Simon na manchanga ni kwa ubaya. Ku Simon ku Simon technically na manchanga. Ah, zina alikuwa anataka kunuliza tu kama niko serious. Ndio anipatie musomo sawa sawa. <laughs> so unisema unisema huku wa serious. Sio nanga ya kothea hapo anafanya fanya hivi, ana spread news ati unadhani ati <laughs> Ati mtoto wangu unaweza kuguza. Siongee vibaya, siongee vibaya. Uwezi guza mtoto wako leo vyo vyo. Wewe sasa hii chali arudi nani? Si ni wewe as far as. Ai, as far as you are you are concerned. Eh. Hey. Unless sasa u clarify, <laughs> deny or But then you kweli, alinita kaniza kama ni ukweli. Ukasema z. Ilibidi niseme z. So si la azin aikuwa useme z ilibidi. Eh. Ilibidi. So that's a partial yes. Ah kitu kayo but eh kusema ukweli uko nilitokaka. Haya wazi. Eh. Na pressure pressure ya wasiri na kupea. Pressure, pressure. sasa hii yenye uko nayo kwa industry ya eh unajua sasa hii wewe ndio umekelewa baden umekelewa baden ya ma street boys. Mm -hmm. Acha nitumie lugha ya mta. Eh. Umekelewa baden ya ma. Wote wako hapa mzee eh. wako hapa. Wewe we, utilaje mm -hmm. na hiyo story? Hiyo story ni normal. Acha tena tuongee tu kweli. By the way, hii ara sifani. Hii story ni complicated kuliko venye nilikuwa nimeiona. Okay. Ni check ye. Hata wewe ni check kukujia tukapiga ma stories za. Hizo stories za. Oh, mm. sijui maene chef au kuafikia. Kuna wakati tulifanya program na jamani tangwa uh, ni tangwa chairman hapa City Hall. Yule majamaa wenye wale wenye uwafurusha huko. Kuna wewe ule wenye wanajua wote. Ngoja, huyu msia anaitwa mm -hmm. chairman juu ya kukimbiza ma <laughs> kukua eh kuatoa kuna ule mse mwenye ukimuona ni kubaya unabidi upotee ni chairman wa hiyo ni chairman wa kukimbizana okay. eh, uh -huh. chairman uh -huh. wa kukimbizana yes. tukafanya program ina ilikuwa ya december ya kuwapeleka huku ma socials ara wa kwa timu nyingine ni chai wa post ya kwa instagram ni kwa naita one love okay. ilikuwa pale karioko zingine kayole lakini sasa after tumewakutanisha hivi hapo ndani atukumaliza hata masaa tatu na wao kwa nini? Atijua lienda wapi. <laughs> Mulikuwa na wao kwa e, social hall. E. Alafu kidogo tena. Social hall uh, iligeuka social media wakaenda na bluetooth. Sijua walipotelea wapi. <laughs> Walika hapo kwanza uji walipikiwa wakasema ina sukari. Hapo ndo nilijua. E manze hapa noma ni kubwa. Because unijua kwa sustain moja ni ngumu sana. Okay. Nilikuwa nime pull efforts kidogo hapa na wase. Nikaita wasani wakaniomokea. Nini? Mimi uliniita. Ah siku kuita. Wasani oh, wa Kenya, "Eh hey, bro, kuja unisaidie hapa." Sisemi wao ni wabaya but. <laughs> ni ngumu, ni ngumu because ku organize kitu kama hiyo program Iran unahitaji watu wengi sana. Okay. Kuingia zile ofisi za City Hall daily 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 daily. Nilikuja kugundua baadaye siku na muscles enough za kufanya hivyo. Juu inahitaji kitu kitu noma. Noma kubwa si watu nilikuwa na approach. Noma kubwa ni machokosh. Juu wao wow, ndio noma wao. Wao wow, hawana hiyo idea uko nayo. Hawanaanga. So before umtana ageuke hivi ya kuena hiyo idea uko nayo kwa akili hiyo ndio noma kubwa. Sijuko una negate. Okay. Kama una negate jua ni chokora jua. Ah anajaribu. Nimeambia. Like unajua noma na sina si wao si unajua kitu wamepitia. Eh anajua. Ule mse anakuona unapata na yeye leo na ni wengi hata mwingine nimeona clip fulani Instagram anaikuwa na rekodiwa na mse akisema eh najua triki sana ni eh nilibalituacha huku tunateseka mwambia kuja tuchuku huku mimi na yake ndio unamjua vizuri sana unaona hapa chini hapa hapa yeah. kando ya one wash up wako hapo jamani kamuita ka jamaa kame, kame toka kisi kame kimbia kaka kuja Nairobi kambia kuja hata tukakae kwangu rudi shuleni before kavute glue kalikuwa bado kasafi safi Mbona unafanya hivyo ukinifanyia hivyo? Mbona? Okay. Unajua wao wao ujidanganya. So nikamu notice nikasema huyu ataenda hapa baya. Nikamwita kama mbona unataka kuanza hii kitu? Unaona na wenzako wamelemewa. Juzi tu hata haijapita time. Oh, Azin alikuwa chokoch mpya. Alikuwa chokoch eh, mwenye ni second hand. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> Wacha tuonge hizi vitu ndio ndio tusaidie. Mimi nikiye na interview mimi naonge hii kitu hivyo ndio tusaidie hao maboys. <laughs> Women rep wa kiambu aliingia kwa moto sana juu ya kusema eh. uh, mababa za ma, au ma street boys wako wako parliament eh wako parliament umekutana nao na kushare na wewe story za eh ni aje why wa, wamejipata kwa street ama story mama, mob zenye zinakoa hapa kwa street ni ni hizo domestic nini wazazi 
either wazazi ku, ku pass away ama wazazi ku kukosana unajua kuna wazazi ukata watoto wao so uwezi ka home ni kubaya uwezi ka ama wazazi wengine tu wanawaacha tu hapo no man kubwa inakuangalia wazazi huko nje si hapa Nairobi so mtu yana kaa hivi anaona eh acha nitafute form Nairobi mm. so story mob ni hizo aya kuna wengine wenye ni kupenda kwao tu If one thing mimi ni understand brand yako ya mm-hmm. wewe ni choko shirt hat alafu hii story ume, ume notice eh, eh nimekuelewa wewe ni choko mm. shirt hat na nini eh <laughs> bro ni tusi directly zi <laughs> zi <laughs> zi so by the nikisema hivyo namaanisha eh wewe ni wewe because of what you feel for the people on the streets which is a na good si streets peke yake mtu anaweza kuwa chokora bila kujua uh-huh. like Chokora imaanishi huyo mtu chokora ni lifestyle. Okay. Chokora si si mtu ni lifestyle yenye unaishi. Kuna jamaa amengara suti town lakini ni chokora in real sense. Hiyo <laughs> si ni ukweli. Ni ukweli. Unaniangaliaje unajishuku? Unasema. Bona hata hita umevaa. Kuna mbo wengine msi angevaa kwa hiyo example yako. <laughs> suti tu tutoke tutoke kwa hati yako yes. tukuje kwa personality yako <laughs> personality eh hey, kuna story yako of course ini eh, ili ulizwa na mse mmoja wa audience yetu ya yeah, anaitwa eh, Said nasema eh, umebaiwa Range Rover na mumama sijui nimeinitata hapa <laughs> mama fulani eh or deny mm. hey, na if in the process of confirming or denying uko we udilaje na rumors about wewe kwa mtandao <clears throat> Rumors by the way niseme tu kweli na ni kweli. Mimi uko personal sana na na critic yenye ni jengi. Uko personal sana. Msikiniambia for example mafans wangu wakati mwingine show ikiuploadi wa YouTube ama clips zenye nafanyanga. Kuna wale wasee uniambia ah trick hii hii ijani bamba. Hizo mistari ama hii show iko down. Huyo uh-huh. ndo critic mimi upenda. Juu yu nifanya hiyo siku nikae tu nikifikiria tu mistari tu. Okay. 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 Lakini ule critic anataka kukunyesha yana vile uko down. Wanyenyeshe hiyo ndio inanijenga as long as ina make sense. Yes. Yes. Hiyo iko fit. Uh-huh. Inanijenga ama eh tricky na unachoma sana na hiyo nywele yako ama nini sijui kitu kama hiyo. Lakini mse mwenye ananiletea critic yenye inisaidi. Kama kuna mse fulani ameenda mtandao kwa Instagram akatafuta toja yangu fulani yenye nimerudia siku nyingi. Yeah. <laughs> Umeona? Uh-huh. Nilianza kuiva 2016 na nimeiva only three times. So akachukua since 2016. Yeah, lakini kwa Instagram yake inakaa nimevaa leo kesho na kesho kutu. <laughs> But hiyo inafa hiyo so, inakuhataje na No no hiyo hiyo ni kitu peti lakini mimi na inani hurt juu na muhurumia yani. Na ni mwanaume ana ni stock. Basi trauma ya like, kuenda dem. Tatin sio zote umevaa trauma moja. Mbona hiyo inafa? Ndona shanga. That's why nasema hiyo ni ni, ni, ni criticism yenye. Oh. Ni peti. Ya mpaka na shanga yani hiyo yeye ni jengi hiyo. Na hii mjengi. Umama. Umama. Kwa nini unamtanga? Umama. By the way wengi. Unasema Range Rover? Eh. Range Rover. Ina mnajuanga vitu mapema hata before it happen. Oh hiyo hiyo bado haijahappen ina, bado inaenda ku happen inaenda ku happen soon nisemalo eh eh mimi mama ajitokezee in Nairobi ni bae range rover mimi ni nani nikatai mimi ni nani ni wapa ya kimori eh range rover ndio hii mama ndio huyu wote na wa drive crazy <laughs> How are you some... liking it so far? Kukua MC a tricky and everything. Kukua MC a tricky eh hey, manzeni challenging sana. Sana. Okay. Jua kitu ulianza nani inaitwa pressure. Pressure ya audience. So wewe uko na pressure sahi. Eh yes, mob sana. Pressure yani? ya ku deliver. Nilipoingia hapo ulikia jamaa ameniambia nilianza vizuri siku hizi nimepotea. Okay. Umegete? Eh? So ni pressure. Hiyo kitu ni mbaya kwangu yeye. Yeah. Though ni venye tu unajua sa, 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 time nyingine Eh, ile kitu uliunda ukikaa uki tu vibaya nayo hiyo ndio inakumaliza ina ina get uh-huh. audience yenye uliunda wasio wakakuamini ufaikuachilia mm-hmm. sasa kitu wajui ni 
eh, kuna ile ile jani tunafuatanga pia sisi kama wasanii so wao oh, watakangi kujua ni the same na comedian kama mimi nikiingia stage unajua yeah. eh, ndio comedian perform poa inategemea ina vitu mob sana yeah ni mzee tena ingine anajua ni peti ni uh, peti are you married <laughs> yeah, i think ni, ni, by the ni swali ni sensitive jumse anataka kujua kama msikawe anazapata demo <laughs> I am I married. Undio mm. adjo kama anaweza pata demo. Eh I think mse anajiangalia labda mse ujiangalia anasema labda ya kujipatia esteem ya kama demo anajua kama tricky anaweza kuwa na demo kama demo anajua mtoto na na anaenda kum hata mimi naweza. Eh na mimi mwenye sina job niko tuna. Oh. Confirm or deny? <laughs> ah siko married of course. Yo uso ni ya kesi yenye uko nayo. Ah ah. So hakuna haja. Mimi siezi siezi jifanya ati ati oh nini ah. Na pete ni nini? Aya moving on. Na <laughs> yes. Sir. Swali yako ilikuwa pete yenyewe. Hapana <laughs> hiyo ni swali yako. Yenye hii si pete hii ni ni ya. Oh swali yangu ilikuwa pete. Ah. Sawa. <coughs> Uli decideaje ukuwe tricky na you can be funny as anyone as in why why did you choose oh oh your your story mm -hmm. number 1 nilibamba creative team huko show chajil show number 2 nilikuwa nataka ku prove point yeah eh eh si lazima eh, ni kwa karibu mtamke kuomoka si lazima all all the good things zionekana nge in that picture like si lazima ati sasa nidunge tai no maana suti kali ati ndio sasa muni respect mkae chini like si lazima nichane nywele vizuri au nimechana hadi tundevu sila ona ah like ukiingia stage wacha watu wacha watu tu respectiane venye niko hivyo tu respect haijui Bro tu kuna mali nimeguza pabaya. Tuzime. <laughs> Tuzime kamera. Ni sawa. Iko fit ya na mbele. Mm. Kama za mbele. Sorry ya suti kigubo you can still suit yourself. <laughs> na sasa ukitaka ku change au feeling mzao tu. Au feeling ni kama umejifungia sana ama mm -mm. na unaweza fanya kitu kingine tena unadhamu. Kitu moja eh, that's why nilisema goal yangu ni 50 years tuzikwende. Yes 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 yes. Umegete? 50 years venye uko saa hii si venye ulikuwa 5 years ago. In fact 5 years ago hata hukuo acha niseme ulikuwa. Ouch. <laughs> Umegete venye umegrow. Mm -hmm. Lazima hiyo growth ikue. It yes. ni hiyo ni kitu iko. Lazima ugo. So wasewa prepare for more diverse content na kila. Na yeah yani content. Juu kama mimi ni msanii nafaa ku feed audience yangu na na vitu no, vitu zingine wewe project gani unafanyia watu? Nini unajengea watu? Mimi nafanya project ya kuchekeshana tu. Hii June kutoa watu stress. Hii June 6th hapa Nairobi Cinema. Wakuje tujibanga. 6th. Eh. 6th June show ya MC Tricky. Eh. Eh jina itakama. Si show yangu ni show yetu. Mimi na fans wangu. Sawa. Show ya MC Tricky na ma fans eh before before uende ambia ma fans wako kitu. So ma fans wangu pale Nairobi Cinema 6th June. Nairobi Cinema so hiyo <laughs> tu kwa specific unajua rafikiria wana mitapo nje Nairobi Cinema ndani <laughs> ndani ya hall so usiogope juu ya do mm mimi sitaki dhau sitaki 400 sitaki 200 take so moja nataka tu 500 <laughs> mkama hapo tujibambe hii ni ya kujibamba juu hii siku itakuwa Eid all the best so uh, special dedication kwa wase wetu wa Islam hiyo ni poa sana. Yeah. Hapo makofi ya MC yetu. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Na Sorry. we hope tukikuita tena na tena utakamu. Utakamu through. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.